Hey, beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to hop on here really quick and share a prophetic word or some insight into a prophetic word that the Lord is bringing to pass. In 2019, November of 2019, I shared a prophetic word that the Lord gave me at my local church while I was in worship and I released it there and then I came home and did a video which i'll share with you here um and in that prophetic word he began to speak about the new decade pay that we had entered into by that time we had entered into the new decade of 5780 on the hebraic calendar and so now we're in 5782 which happened in september so in november of 2019 we were in 5780 and that word pay means um to build and to 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 speak it's p it means mouth or to speak and so we are in this in this decade of pay and so it's a whole 5780 um which we are calling um 2020s the 20s of the 2000 right but on god's calendar it's 5780 and so there is a prophetic word or a prophetic expression that god gives over each one of his decades and over each one of his years the hebraic calendar and the alphabet are different than ours our calendar is just numbers that counts chronological time that is linear and moving forward in a sequential span right and then there is um his hebraic calendar calendar that does both his calendar counts time going forward but there are also prophetic expressions divine appointments and do seasons and set times and cycles of not only the feast but the times uh, times and seasons of the lord that go that are cyclical cyclical that continue to repeat as the years move forward in a linear and um sequential fashion and so the way that we understand those cycles those due seasons those set times and those prophetic expressions is because of the alphabet now our alphabet is just words i mean letters that when put together create phonic sound that create that we build our words with for instance um calendar we put together c-a-l-e-n-d-r and we put together those sounds and we come up with calendar whereas the uh, uh, hebrew alphabet includes each each letter is also a number and has a pictorial uh, meaning so there's a pictograph so there's he there is numeric value there is um, phonic value and then there's also pictorial value and that is where the prophetic expression comes from so this is not a mystery but when we look into the hebraic calendar and what those um words and the, the pictorial value is because god is a god of um, creation and um, vision and seeing then we can see what the what the prophetic expression is over that time or season and what God wants to do now all of these things he has already completed in Christ but it's up to us to work them out and walk them out in real life and so he sets his prophetic expressions over our times and seasons so that we can know what we ought to do so we can have an understanding of our times and seasons and we can know what we ought to do in our times and seasons now this is different from what jesus said when he spoke about no one knowing the day or the hour when the son of man will return except for the father we don't know exactly when things will happen but we do know just like jesus also said that the children of israel missed their day of visitation because they didn't understand and they did not perceive him in his time that he had come and so we can know what times and seasons are happening and what god is doing but we do not have exact dates just like god with abraham said about this time next year i'll be back according to the time of life to have a baby well for sarah so he came back but he didn't give them an exact date but he said around this time uh, according to the time of life so god can give you an exact date it's not that he cannot but we don't look for that we follow god because the, the the things that have been revealed are ours belong to the children of man but the secret things belong to god and so 
with that being said as the preface i want to talk about this year this decade of pay so the lord spoke to me and he said that he was going to judge the systems of the world now he said the systems of the world some people would call those the kingdoms or i've heard them called the mountains but when the lord showed me it in a vision he told he showed me systems businesses are run off of systems systems are things that put together steps or processes that make things work and so within businesses there are systems and then he said he was going to judge the systems within the systems so there are systems and what he showed me was a wheel and spokes in a wheel and the spokes are the wheel which i saw as a wheel a wheel within a wheel the wheels within a wheel the power that the power the small things that make the whole wheel function and keep moving forward and give it and gives it its um, strength to move forward to progress what he was going to judge those systems and what i saw was that things were going to begin to start falling apart and he said that he was going to plunder the finances and the goods of the of the of the ungodly to give to his children and he also said that he was going to give witty inventions to his children now witty invent witty to us means you know bright and smart and all of that but to the lord it means things that you did not know in the king james vernacular which a lot of times god will speak to me in in the king james because that's what i'm most familiar to so it doesn't mean that god only speaks in king james it means that my spirit learned that first and so a lot of times that's what the prophetic word will come through and so witty means things that and and also because there's deep meaning to those words we read it and we see the english but when you check the greek and you check the hebrew you find that there's more to what was said in the words um than what we are reading and so witty means inventions and things that were not known so he'll give you strategies and and ideas that that you couldn't have come up with on your own to create wealth and so this is what that means and so i i saw this i saw the the things being plundered and um and him judging systems he showed it to me and then we went into 2020 and by the time we went into 2020 we were seeing everything gets shut down we were seeing it looked like the opposite of what god said because people were losing their jobs people were losing things the house the house uh, the price of housing had gone up and it's still up i'm in california southern california to be exact so it is crazy out here in these real estate streets but the lord had saved me because i had just sold my house at the beginning of 2020 or was it the end of 2019 i can't remember but anyway um, and I was able to, because I wanted to downsize and find a condo for a good price. Um, yeah, so the Lord blessed me, but he led me to this place. But right after that, um, no, that was at the end of last year, actually, even in the midst of all the crazy, he led me to a good, to a place within reason. Um, actually, it appraised for more than I paid for it. So God just blessed me. But I asked him was where to take me. So that was good. And God did a there's a whole miracle in that. But um, I sold my house and the world shut down by March. And I couldn't find a place because we were in quarantine. And so um, I lived in an apartment for eight, about eight months before I actually purchased something. But that being said, that was the state of the world. And it looked like, God, what is going on? People are losing their jobs. Small businesses are um, are closing. I do see that people are getting these loans or getting their loans and stuff on hold and rent and all that stuff for people. But there are clauses in there that people have to pay it back. These PPP loans that people were getting, all of this. But, you know... A lot of people found themselves in trouble because they were getting things that they shouldn't have gotten um, because the money was there that wasn't free. You had to qualify for it. So people were doing all these things and it's just like, God, what is going on? It seems like the rich are getting richer based off of the things that they're wanting us to buy and, you know, the jab as we call it and all these things that are happening. And 
certain stocks going up, it, you know, all at the cost. It seems like it's so orchestrated, but not by you. And so I, I was praying through 2020 and 2021. And then at the end of last year, the Lord began to show me that he was setting things up because he's like a chess player. He is the master chess player and he knows people's moves and that he knows what he is doing. And not that I doubted him. I just could not make sense of it. Sometimes we cannot reconcile the things that go on in the earth realm with what God's world said, let alone our own lives when we see and we know that God is good and that he does good. And then we see things play out in a different way. It's hard to understand that, right? Because you know that God is good. And so I was trying to reconcile these things, but then the Lord began to speak to me out of Psalm 73 and tell me that there was an end to this. And, and, and I said, okay, Lord. And so I'm here to report to you that as the Lord began to show me that he understood that he was setting things up to be judged. And so there's a lot still going on and this doesn't solve all the problems of the world, but it does let us know that in this decade of pay and in this year of um, the house or building up or tearing down with our mouth. That is the two or the um, bet, B-E-T, which means house or build or tear up. So God is reestablishing things. And he tells Jeremiah that he put his word in his mouth to build up and to tear down, to root up and to establish. And so what are we seeing? What is God doing? It's uh, interesting because in the news I watched that there's starting to be debt cancellation that's what he showed me I actually saw the financial systems in particular and I saw that he was going to unravel the financial systems and so I saw that a lot of starting with not Sally Mae but with um, I can't remember the name of the of the student loan company which has really ravaged um, the people of our country, anyway, United States where I live, uh, that those things are falling apart and they're having to pay people back and they're canceling debt. We know that the stock market is crashing. And of course, it'll come back with the crash and the drop is bigger than anything, unlike anything that they've ever seen. They don't have something to to compare it to at this point, as I was watching on last week but the lord told me to just take my money out of stocks and to just let it sit not to put it any place but just let what i had just sit there but to take it out except for two stocks and so that's what i've done and i watched it just keep plummeting and plummeting and listen i don't have any money to lose let me tell you so i thank the lord and it had already started dropping before he um spoke or before i asked him what to do and that's what he directed me to do um and so i'm just thankful for that but i believe that god is right on target and so that's why i made this video that when he spoke that word and things started to go opposite it's like oh god this is opposite day i don't know if everybody anybody ever watched spongebob but my kids love spongebob when they were growing up they're all adults now but there was opposite day and so we would say that and it just felt like opposite day right it felt like god you're saying one thing and it looks like the rich is robbing the poor it doesn't look like things are going now but he said the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just and he gave this prophetic word and at first I thought it was something that was going to happen in that year but then I came to know that it was going to happen over this decade so be looking for witty inventions be looking for the Lord to speak to you to do something and step out on faith and do it and maybe it's even something a desire of your heart if the Lord um um allows you to and he doesn't course correct you then go ahead and step out and if and if it's not something that you should do then he'll let you know that you're not supposed to do that um you don't know until you try um but there will also be things that the lord speaks directly to you but this is not a day or an hour to have fear but to walk by faith in and, and step into the new thing and so i would encourage you if the lord is telling you to do something new it doesn't mean quit your day job if god hasn't called you to do that but it means begin to ask him for those things that he's going to call you to do and and again new things or at least new new to you because there are things that people have 
have not thought of that God haven't released. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, but it is new sometimes for our generation or you know how somebody creates something or solves a problem. That Those are things that create um, wealth in the marketplace, that sell in the marketplace. God, when he gives you a witty invention, it will be something that helps solve a problem of some sort, big or small, that he's given you to do. I believe that there is a story about the lady who made, I think it's like a lotion or something, um, honey, bee, bee something, I can't remember, but she was a Christian and she was having her own problem. And if you're solving a problem for yourself or a loved one and it works, it's a formula or an invention of some sort, then God might be calling you to solve that problem for others, especially if you ask, if you have people asking you to recreate what you've already done, whether it's something that feeds their soul, like food or heals an ailment or whatever. But I believe that God is going to be doing that or just solves a problem. Maybe there is a course or something that you can teach. I don't know, but be listening to God for what he wants you to do in this season. Um, to generate wealth, be looking for the things that, and I thought to myself, I kicked myself in the butt because um, the the first, I don't know if it would have been for me, but the first student loan company, I had a little student loan debt left and I had paid it off when I sold my house. And it's the same company that is now giving people money back. And I said, you know what, God, there's gonna be more of that. And I was in such a flow that even though I had given this prophetic word, sometimes we give the word and we go on and we're not holding on to it as the ones who spoke it. And so, or we're not seeing it. We give words, we give words, we give words. And I had to look back and say, I should have just stayed. You know, even that I maybe should not have sold my house because God is doing such a thing, even though I did purchase something and the equity is going up and that house or this condo, I didn't buy it over the price so i would still be good either way but that property was worth more and so it's like the prophetic word came and comes to us and then we keep doing what we've been doing or living by our own reasoning or the reason of the hour and god is saying stop pause and let that go and begin to tap into the prophetic expression the prophetic wisdom the prophetic grace and the word that I have spoken over this season, this the, the times and seasons that you are in so that you can get the plunder, that you can get the booty, so to speak. And by that, I mean the goods. That's another King James word for the spoils and the goods and, and what, of what God has for you. And this is also a time of rest, rec reconciliation and restoration. And so God wants to restore things. He wants to bring you into a place of rest and he's going to do that by putting you in a new rhythm, a new rhythm of grace. And so anyway, I just wanted to come and give like a prophetic watch, a prophetic update because that word came in 2019 and God had already begun to fulfill it, but we are beginning to see the manifestation of that. And so I want to bear witness to that prophetic word and what God spoke to me before it happened. He said, I'll do a new thing. And then he also, that was in Isaiah, but he also said he does nothing unless he shows his servants the prophets first. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who saw that. The word may have come differently, but I want to bear witness here because there are other things. If you go back on my channel so many years that the Lord spoke to me that have come to pass on a world stage. I'm not a prophet that normally prophesies directly to people about a house or a car or a husband. And there are prophets who do that and, there are, and they are on target and that is their calling. But God usually has me to prophesy into kingdoms and regions and nations and, and churches and what he is doing in an overall picture. And so... And then to speak to his com people comfort to help them navigate the different seasons of life and their calling. And so, but those are encouraging words of what God is doing for his people and how he wants to bring his people out. And I believe that Isaiah was that kind of prophet where he spoke to them. There are many of those type of prophets. And then there's the prophet Jeremiah who had to tear down and build up. And the Lord said, what do you see? And he said, I see an almond tree. And the Lord said, you have seen well. And 
I, I'm just quoting some of that. And so I do, that. that has been my prophetic anointing and calling um, um, over the years is to um, not just generally, but to speak um, in a broad manner broad vision as a seer um one who sees things um happening and then prophetic um words of knowledge and words of wisdom is also something that uh the lord gives me um for people when i'm praying or laying hands but most of the prophecy is things of this nature so i just wanted to come and bear witness to that and say be encouraged whether you heard that prophecy or not it was the first um it was the returning word it was a what is it called on my youtube channel where you could see the video that i had up um i have the word up that the lord gave me about coming out bring his bringing his people into a wealthy place um because that's what he gave me last may and i believe that's what he's doing a place of peace prosperity purpose and the fulfillment of his promises and so um that is what i have up now but i am again like i said i have linked the prophetic word in this video so that you can go back and watch it it gives an overview of the decade and then it gets into the prophetic word and what the lord said and that's 2019 so you can hear what the lord said then and you can see for yourself what he is doing now and so god is faithful to his word and as i remind myself and encourage myself in that i just wanted to encourage you all in that that sometimes we don't see it right away but if god has given you a prophetic word a sure enough prophetic word um I say a verily, verily, a yay and amen, a true from the spirit of God, then it's going to come to pass. There are conditional think prophetic words, um, especially relating to um, personal lives or even nations and kingdoms, really. Sometimes he will prophesy that there will be war, just like he did with Jeremiah. But if somebody repents, he will stop the evil that was going to happen. And if somebody is doing good and they turn and do evil, then he will stop the good that he was doing. So those are prophetic words with conditions. It is a warning word that says, hey, this is what God is going to allow to happen. This is stirring up, but you have a chance. It's just like when somebody has a dream or a vision. And I tell my children when they they tell me they had a dream that okay that's a dream that the lord wants you to pray into he's showing you that so you can pray against against it so you can see what sometimes he's showing you something that's going to come either way so he's preparing you but then there's other times that he's showing you something that so you can come against it um because it's weighing in the balance so that's kind of how prophecy works as well i hope this bless you happy sunday happy February. I have not released the prophetic word for pe February yet, although I think I have. The Lord has been saying a few things, but it was important to me to go back and get this word out because I gave it, but it wasn't as clear as it should have been at the beginning of January because I was tired <laughs> when I gave it. And I had a few people inbox me and was like, hey, where did it go? And it's like, I wanted to put it out in a more precise way and it's still long. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it has encouraged you in your calling um, and um, that you will continue to pray that God's will be done in the earth and that he covers his people, including you and me. God bless you.